Morning. This arrest under British terrorism laws took place at Dover, a port on the coast around two hours from here. From there, you can travel to France, into Europe and beyond. A senior police officer here at Scotland Yard saying they are pleased with the progress made, though the investigation continues. Police say an 18-year-old man is in custody today in connection with a bomb that partially detonated on a packed subway car here in London Friday morning. They called it, quote, a significant arrest. The investigation ongoing in the incident authorities have called a terrorist attack. This was it. Oh, is that bags on fire? A crude bomb made in a bucket, seen moments later on the subway floor, still in flames. The fire, the, the heat was so intense, and the fireball just engulfed the whole tube carriage. Like, the whole carriage was orange, just, like, coming towards us. I heard the word explosion and fire, and we were just trapped, and I thought, I'm going to die. At least 29 people were injured, many with burns, others after being trampled in the rush to escape, among them, children on their way to school. But it could have been worse. Authorities say the bomb did not fully explode. Though the attack was relatively ineffective, it is, a, is part of a series of quickening attacks in London that not only worries officials in uh, London and the UK, but also in Europe uh, and in the United States. ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack, but there's no evidence of their involvement. It is the fifth time this year Britain has been a target for terror including the suicide bombing at an Ariana Grande concert and a car and stabbing attack outside Parliament. Authorities say today's arrest will lead to more police activity after the security presence was stepped up across the country. Britain raising its terrorist threat level to critical, warning another attack could be imminent. And a British, terror, a British security source tells NBC News that while the detonator on this device appears to have fired, the main charge did not, meaning that this could have been a far worse explosion. More people could have been maimed, even killed. Craig, there are people with their families here this morning who are very, very lucky to be alive. Keir Simmons for us this morning at Scotland Yard. Keir, thank you.